So very good. Good afternoon to all of you. Actually, it is good morning only because I haven't uh, commented with you. So um, somehow, uh, somehow, so yesterday we have seen. So what is uh, uh, the decision tree which could be it's operated with the binary search for uh, number of elements will be equal to 14. So for that, uh, we have seen completely. And uh, uh, some of you have some so some of you have uh, submitted the assignment also uh, on the same problem. Uh, okay, five people have submitted, and uh, remaining people tomorrow is the uh, last date uh, uh, due date for the submission of uh, so this uh, assignment. Now, today we'd like to evaluate that. So we'd like to analyze analyze the binary search. Uh, the binary search complexity. So how this complexity could be analyzed? We know very well, we know, so as far as uh, the previous data structures course, we know very well uh, that uh, the complexity, worst case complexity of the binary search will be, so log base two, yeah, this is the complexity. Already we, it is known to you, our order of uh, log base two, yeah, this is the complexity from data structures course. Probably you, you people have uh, some kind of idea regarding to this one. Then how this can be evaluated? How this can be analyzed? Let us have a look here. So binary search is always, you need to remember one thing before going to computation of time complexity of uh, so this uh, binary search, you must remember one thing, that is the binary search will be always reduces its search space. So based on the mid element, so it might be based on the mid element and based on the actual target element. So it might be reduce left hand side complete. I mean uh, one to mid minus one or mid uh, mid plus one to so yeah. These elements will be gets eliminated based on the based on the so element to be searched within the binary search. So that point you must be. Uh, uh, you must be always keep in our mind. That's very, very important for us. Okay. Then, so what is the competition? Let us consider we have only single element, only one element is there. So one element in the sense, for example, so the element which is uh, available within this uh, list will be some uh, 15 and I want to search for 15 exactly. Yes, your search is successful. Your search is so successful. Whereas in second case, I mean, second time I'm running this particular problem, your number of elements will be one. I have only 15 with me. I'd like to search for so some uh, 105. The element is 105, which is not available. So that is why it is unsuccessful. Un so successful. You need to remember this one. Either uh, the possibility will be either it is successful or it is unsuccessful if you have only one. So finally, how many number of uh, operations you have to done here in the sense, only single operation, only single operation. So therefore, so the result might be either it is successful or unsuccessful, then uh, it could be taken single unit of time, where n will be equal to, this n will be equal to, so n is equal to one here, simply speaking, this could be also written as a T of one will be equal to, so one will be considered as equation number one here. This is the equation number one. So in this way, so we have to consider, of course, here number of elements already we have taken, we have given one specification here, that is uh, number of elements will be only one. So here N will be equal to one. So you may be right something like this, or you may be right something like this. Both will be, both will be okay. That second case, case number two. Case number two will be uh, if uh, list of elements will be more than one, more number of uh, elements will be there with you, then what exactly the complexity will be? Complexity will be calculated by using the theorem. I have given one uh, recurrence relation to you. That recurrence relation will be seems like this. This recurrence relation will also called as master theorem in terms of uh, divide and conquer that is also called as master theorem. So the master theorem will be master, so uh, a recurrence relation, RR in the sense recurrence relation will be, so gives you T of N 
phi of n is equal to it is not actually j uh, don't, 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 uh, I'm, I'm writing using uh, this mouse so that is the sometimes the mouse will not be supported so t of n will be equal to so a into t of uh, n by b n by b so plus f of n where f of n is a constant time constant time which could be taken and here you could consider that uh, so a will be how many sublists are going to consider in your problem while it is being computed uh, 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 while it is being analyzed during the analysis phase how many sublists are going to be going to be considered whether it may be considered single sublists or so both sublists have been considered or not if single sublist sublist a will be equal to 1 so if both sublists will be considered a will be equal to 2 here whereas b by nature or by the hypothesis of uh, uh, this divide and conquer b is always equal to 2 because list will be always list of elements will be always divided into exactly half so that what it could be it could be considered as 2 and f of n f of n will be considered as how many number of comparisons you have made during the uh, solving that particular binary search problem thereby you have taken approximately three three different kinds of uh, the comparisons so first one is so yeah uh, yeah of uh, mid will be equal to mid element will be equal to required element or not this is the first condition this is the first condition second condition is uh, so element is greater than so a of mid or not this is the second condition otherwise third condition will be if the element is less than a of mid so here are three different types of uh, three different types of a condition condition number one condition number two condition number three three different types of conditions are supposed to be checked continuously we don't bother whether it is uh, checking i mean each recursive call will be checking these three or not it doesn't matter for us but this algorithm is based on these three different types of uh, so uh, uh checkings so that is why it will be actually it will be three actually it will be three but instead of three we don't know how many recursive calls will be taken probably two probably three probably 20 something like that we don't know exactly so therefore this three will be so taken as a constant c so where constant c will be equal to three that is the meaning here so based on this particular master theorem we have to take it into consideration and uh, by by this particular master theorem how your uh, uh, binary search uh, what you call complexity initial complexity will be looks like this is the way p of n equal to the p of n by 2 plus c let us consider this is the equation two. It's very important for us. So then, already we know, so the, the complexity of T of n, the complexity of T of n is known. So here one more new quantity will be there with us. That new quantity will be T of n by two. So now need to identify so the value of T of n by two here. So therefore identify T of n by here. So therefore you can say T of n by two will be equal to so t of n by 4 because 4 number of uh, in the second recursive call entire list will be divided into so 4 number of sublists so that it could be taken this much okay consider this is equation number 3 and here also one more new quantity which is there because that is t of n by 4 so for that how you can calculate it yes this is the way you can calculate t of n by 4 equal to we have n by 8 that is in third recursive call total number of uh, sublists which could be made by dividing conquer is n by 8 number of uh, so sublists are going to be made and it will be considered as fourth one now what shall we have to how can you solve this one the dividing conquer is always trying to solve the problem by using a method substitution method as you be Substitution method. Substitution method in the sense third equation three and equation four will be submitted in equation two, then it could be gets elaborated. Of course, you can take uh, equation number five, T of n by eight also, that is not required for us because two 
uh, analyzations will be get sent for us. So remaining could not be taken into consideration. Then uh, substitute. So that is what I told you just before. So it could be always uh, taken the substitution. Okay. So three and four will be submit, submitted in equation number two. Then we will get something like this. Equation number two is this one. P of n equal to P of n by two plus c. Now substitute the value of T of n by two. So here you could see T of n by two value is this one. T of n by four plus c. If you elaborate this one, so it could be T of n by four plus c plus c. That is two c. Okay. Then again T of n by eight, T of n by four value. So this substitution will be happen right away from equation number three. Uh, wait, wait. From equation number three, we did that. So since equation number three will be seems like this from uh, so equation equation three, okay. Whereas this substitution could be took place so from uh, so equation four from equation four we have taken this particular p of n by four value p of n by eight plus c plus already two c will be there we can take two c as it is there. Then if you elaborate this one p of n by eight plus c plus two c so, three C. And uh, you have uh, two numbers with you, two constant numbers that is eight and uh, three. Where exactly it could be possible, you can convert them into two powers. Okay, where exactly it could be possible, you can convert them. So here, P of n equal to eight will be able to convert. So eight will be able to convert right away from uh, eight to two powers, that is two power three. So therefore we have uh, taken it to two, two power three. And consider this process will continue for uh, k iterative because I, we have already taken n will be e always equal to 2 power k. This is the basic primitive of divide and conquer. n will be equal to. Otherwise, you could also specify n divided by 2 power k. Uh, one moment, please. It is not actually 2 k, 2 power k. So n will be equal to two, uh, n by two, n by two power k will always equal to one because n will be sixteen. For example, n will be n will be equal to sixteen. Then uh, two power k, so that could be equal to k will be equal to four. For example, okay. So that is uh, sixteen divided by two power four will be equal to one. Okay. So that is the meaning here. So what does it means? When the k number of recursive calls will be happen, the entire uh, list will be divided into so it's a fundamental fundamental list of elements. So it is bindested so that each and every sublist might be having single element. That's what you need to remember here. So that is why we would like to consider so we would like to consider k number of uh, recursive calls will be get seven. Therefore, you have to get this one here. So that is t of n equal to t of n by 2 power k plus kc. You can see, so this is 3 and here also 3. So that is why we have replaced 3 with k. Okay. Let us consider this is equation number 5. Then, so you can keep aside. So everything t of n will be keep aside. And uh, we'd like to consider the basic primitive of uh, divide and conquer here. Divide and conquer basic primitive will be so n equal to 2 power k. So already I have explained, just before I have explained. n equal to 2 power k does means n by 2 power k will be equal to 1. What does it mean? So your entire list of elements will be segregated, disseminated into single, single, single element of the k number of recursive calls. That is the, that is the meaning of this one here. So therefore, let us consider this is equation number 1. We we'll continue this process. If anybody is writing, so I'll send you this one, no problem, don't worry. So yeah, now apply log base two on both sides. Apply, so here it is not log two, log base two, log, so base two on both sides for the equation number one. So therefore, equation number one will be n equal to two power k, apply log base two here in the sense log base two n is equal to log base two, two power k. Obviously we know, so 2 power k in the sense this could also be written something like this. So k will be as uh, its constant, uh, it's, uh, it's its constant value, which is uh, multiplied with log base 2 to 
where log base to 2 will be equal to so this value equal to 1 so therefore k equal to log base to n k equal to log base to n let us consider this is equation number 2 then these two equations must be submitted these two equations must be submitted in uh, equation number 5 then you will get this, this one equation number 5 will be t of n by 2 power k equal to k into c so substitute equation number 1 so this could be replaced by equation number small 1 this will be replaced by equation number small 2 okay look at this this could be seems like this t of n by n plus log base to n into c t of n by n will be equal to 1 so therefore t of 1 plus uh, log base to uh, yeah, c into log base to n. So t of n equal to 1 actually. So since uh, from equation number 1, if you take uh, from, from equation number 1, you could get a t of 1 equal to 1. Okay. So therefore, you could get this one. When compared to this particular quantity, this whole quantity, when compared to this particular quantity, so 1 is very negligible value. So 1 is very, very, very lesser value when compared to C into log base to N. Okay, very, very, very less value. So therefore, too much less value. So therefore, we can eliminate, we can eliminate from this, uh, I mean one from this uh, so analysis. So therefore, it could be becomes uh, T is uh, T of N equal to T of N equal to c into log base to n and here as far as uh, the analysis part is concerned in design and analysis of algorithms same problem same problem will be run on different different uh, configured kind of machines it may be give you some uh, uh, some some a variant kind of uh, analysis will be given so in that regard so we we not consider this constraints so we just eliminate that particular constant and uh, the constant will be permanently gets eliminated then therefore you could get uh, so yeah, t of n will be equal to so, uh, log base to n otherwise it's also called as worst case running time complexity that is uh, t of uh, uh, big o of uh, log n okay you could also return something like this in this way you got uh, log base to n this is the way you have got uh, log base to n okay so this is what uh, the analysis of your uh, binary search. In binary search, it has been divided into three parts. Part number one, the so binary search algorithm, how binary search algorithm is being uh, uh, operated, that is uh, part number one. Second one is, uh, so working example, otherwise a runtime example. So the runtime example will be taken and identify so how mid elements are going to be evaluated, followed by we have drawn decision making tree for binary search how decisions will be taken for binary search for number of elements will be equal to we have taken in our example we have taken in our lecture we have taken n equal to 14 for n equal to 14 we have drawn the complete uh, so decision making binary tree for binary search that is part number two in part number three completely evaluates uh, how so-called uh, binary search complexity when number of elements will be there with you and you have to search for a single element how the things will be get happen will be discussed so this is what the complete data regarding to binary search and if you have any questions please ask me the questions through uh, google classroom then i'll answer them within the google classroom okay of course i have prepared for the next next one also next algorithm also Minimum and maximum also I have prepared. Everything has been prepared, but it is not the time to discuss this particular thing because the binary search is gets over. So that is why I would like to stop the class at this point. Already 21 minutes have then. So 20 minutes are uh, gets over. So that I would like to stop the problem here. Then uh, I would like to, I would like to uh, continue. Okay. So don't go away. I'd like to also explain something. So some of you, totally five people have submitted. Let me open, let me open that, uh, let me open that, where it is. Yeah, we got, this is a Google Classroom. 
So in this Google Classroom, you could identify so five people have submitted. Um, this is the actual thing, assignment two. Oh, six more have submitted. Five is already marked. And uh, because of my, uh, I have, whenever I have to feel a leisure, then immediately I have to evaluate your papers. So here, six more are submitted. Totally 11 people have submitted. And uh, uh, many of you have given very proper, uh, proper uh, binary search tree, I mean, decision making trees for binary search tree. And uh, some two to three people have given something like this. Two to three people. They have taken 32 elements and uh, they have drawn what I have drawn in uh, uh, the video. So that is that. Uh, so seven followed by 11 followed by something like this. I have drawn somewhere else. So like this, people have given. I'm not asking this particular thing. I have asked that. Uh, so I'm drawing, I'm drawing just, uh, just a very uh, vague kind of example here. So that is a two and what is the right child also and what is the left child also everything must be required for me so something like this something like this will be required uh, required by me like this you have to draw and you have to send it because you have one more day uh, time so please uh, do something like this while uh, you are giving uh, what is that uh, decision making free for buying this age. okay like this you have to give of course quick start. people are uh, so far five people have submitted uh, uh, the, the, the fix art problem very good excellent so whatever the fix art you have learned in our uh, uh, previous i mean the data structures course the same thing has been reproduced i appreciate them i appreciate them very good the people are doing well so the people are doing well so that is why i'd like to stop my my, my, my work at this book at this point don't go away i'd like to take attendance of you okay don't go away let me take attendance of you for a while yeah, first uh, 20 people have taken. Yeah, good. 